There is just like a through sung piece of theatre and it involves a high caliber of singing, a high caliber of acting. But the, I think the most important thing about opera is it's something where the music helps dictate the drama. The way that it's performed is similar to anything that you would see in the theatre. It doesn't have to be done in a melodramatic style, which was once, I think, generically associated with opera. Um, it's become more than that now. It's as realistic a portrayal of a drama as it would be to watch something on television, but we're just singing. <laughs> well, it's um, Mozart's The Marriage of Figaro, which is uh, like two and a half to three hour long epic. It goes over the span of one day, and it's the day of Susanna and Figaro's wedding. And it's about basically that day and what happens on that day. There is a lot of there are a lot of plots and twists and turns. The main theme is the count is trying to um, basically get it on with Susanna before she gets married to Figaro because it is his feudal right. What drew me to it was the opera. I mean, it's such a fun opera. In hindsight, a really difficult one to direct in such a short space of time. But it's so much fun. The amount of twists, turns hiding, finding, dressing up as different people. It's just so complicated and that complexity fascinates me and really enticed me to take it on. I mean, I've never worked with such a professional, non-professional cast in my life. They are so with it, especially, especially the principles, the amount of music and blocking they've had to take in in such a short space of time. They got cast and within two months they've learnt the whole opera off by heart and they've learnt all the blocking off by heart. I mean, we've had three and a half weeks to block the show and they've done the most insane jobs. The marriage of Figaro is Tim. Tim is Figaro and I'm his wife-to-be, Susanna, and we are the servants of a count and countess. I'm the count, so I have higher status and I want to sleep with Susanna, but I can't really publicly still go about doing that because I've renounced my feudal rights and I am married to the countess and there would be a scandal if I did, you know, force myself on a servant. Um, but, and on the other hand, Figaro and Susanna can't openly resist me because I could have them killed. I find out very early on that the Count's trying to uh, entice my missus, <laughs> but um, I, I think up a scheme. I'm quite a scheming person. I think I've got it all under control, but it turns out people, not, you know, it's an awful lot more complicated than that. <laughs> you know, in a theatre production, the rest of us, we can all see where we're mm -hmm. going. What's it like learning blocking without any sort of visual references to what's happening? Um, I think it's fine, probably because I haven't been used to learning it any other way. Yeah. Like, I think, I don't know, like, I think it's probably not as much of a challenge as people might originally think. Yeah. Um, because I think people sometimes wonder, like, will, will I be able to do this? Will people, you know, c could you do this or whatever? But actually, like, it's fine just to go, like, to really push the limits, which Joel has done. And I'm really pleased that he's done that because he could have taken, like, such an easy option. And, you know, just not done much blocking at all. Yeah. But actually, I think he's done such a good job and I'm really, really enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I'd describe the role of a conductor as being a musical director. So in a concert, the conductor is the man who seems to walk on last and take a big bow and take all the applause and then wave their arms at an orchestra and get them to play loud and quietly and in time with one another. Um, but there's a much bigger role of a conductor which very few people see, which is um, directing rehearsals. So being there and um, making sure that everyone is playing towards the same goal, everyone's playing phrases the same way, everyone's taking things at the right tempo, and just generally getting everyone on the same page, playing the right music in the right way, and then taking that to you know, the next level musically and really bringing out something which is memorable and emotional and um, just good. All of us are now just can't wait to, to show the whole thing off and to show people what we can do and to show people how funny and how beautiful this opera is. Everything is coming together so nicely and it'd just be a pity to miss what is going to be probably one of the, if not the best thing that's ever been put on in the music department. been a roller coaster, ups, downs, tension, worry, but in the end, magnificent performances. Well, that's basically it, just a magnificent show.